Yeah, that's why. That's why I want to wear gloves. Because of that. Oh! Hey, I'm Jamie. By day, I'm a director of hospital operations. I travel the U.S., and I'm in and out of meetings, on calls, and managing doctors. But my world gets really crazy once I come home. This is where the real work begins. This is from suits to boots. So I'm in the front barn and we have been setting traps at night because I have had two more chickens disappear. <clears throat> and this is why now, <clears throat> of course, Lester's gone. And I can't, I can't leave him or her in here. Kitty, please don't mess with him, please. So I can't leave this um, possum in this trap until Lester gets home because it's just not right. And I'm terrified, like a million percent terrified. I'm terrified to grab this handle. I'm terrified to open up the trap when I get to the woods. I'm terrified that it's going to bite me somehow. I know that it's in defense mode. I know that there are animals who eat ticks and are, they're, they, they're trying to survive as well. I don't like that they're killing my chickens. I can tell you that. I don't like it at all. So I'm going to have to be brave, but I'm gonna do this my own way too. I am going to, uh, I'm gonna wear gloves. Yeah, that's why. That's why I'm gonna wear gloves, because of that. Oh my God, this is so scary. Maggie, stop it. Okay, I actually wanna keep it away from my legs and get it on the back of the side by side. Oh, please don't freak out. I know that I've done a lot of things since I've become quote unquote a, a farm girl. This might top the bravest one of them. This is so not me. Oh. Sorry, little guy or girl. I'm so nervous. I, I'm i afraid of this thing. And I know, yes, it eats ticks and they're harmless and all the things, but it's also in defense mode. It's been in this trap overnight and now I have to release it. And it's snuggled up underneath the part of the trap that I have to touch. Here we go. All right, as I was saying, he sure is nestled up against the part that I have to touch not even a little bit excited about this okay so he or she has moved a little bit away from the part that i have to touch so i'm feeling a little bit better but the longer that i sit here and talk to it the more freaked out it is i'm gonna try to figure this out i'm gonna set my camera up to watch and see what happens just in case we miss it okay so oh Stop yelling at me. No. Okay, I know I'm supposed to touch this thing and pick it up. This is like a magic button of some sort. I'm supposed to grab this and bend this at the same time. Okay. It's up, but I'm gonna have to tip it forward to get it to come out. Oh, the other way. Uh. Lester told me also that I could lift that thing in the back, but I can't do it while it's on it. Oh my gosh, this is <laughs> this is a mess, y'all. Oh, he's shaking. I feel so terrible. Come on, baby, get out of there. Come out of there. Come on, get down. The way would be to find a stick or something, but even that, if it comes out and hits it, it's gonna get caught. I'm just not real sure here how to make this happen. Something. So I can walk away enough. Okay, it's 
wedged open enough that it should be able to come out of there. I'm gonna grab my phone and hope that it runs away. Okay, I'm sitting back on the side-by-side -side and hoping that this little guy or girl takes off pretty quickly. I'm about 20 foot away and that door is open. I don't know, y'all. This part of farm life is the most not fun. I mean, yes, it's a predator but it also is a living animal and i'm a sucker for animals in the first place but i don't believe that i don't believe in shooting everything that's looking for food because it's just trying to survive just like everything else i just want it to survive out here in the woods about a mile from our house instead of in my barn you know we are in a beautiful spot down here by the river. The river's actually up. We had quite a bit of rain over the last couple days. I mean, this little guy or girl has a perfectly happy life out here if they would just leave the dang trap. I, I just am new to this part and this is usually Lester's role. I don't enjoy this part at all. Okay, I'm gonna have to rattle the cage a little bit. I. <laughs> I think that's what I have to do to get it to go out. I'm just, I don't want it to be in here and to get stuck in here again overnight or for, it's supposed to rain tonight, that the river come up and it drowns. So this, <clears throat> this is what has to happen. And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, but you have to run the other way. Make me feel even worse about what's happening right now. Okay, go that way, go that way, go on. Go the other way, back up, back up. Use my boot. Okay, back up. Yeah, go. I just had a string to hold that thing open because my stick is not going to hold this whole time. And if I lay down over top of this or like lean forward, it's going to run towards me again. Okay, you have to get out. Go out. Look, you can go. Come on. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is my life right now. Come on, little guy. You have to go. I'm giving you a chance at life. Come on. Oh yeah, back up another foot. Come on, do it again. Do it again, back up, back up. Oh, I'm so scared. I really do need a string. I wish I had a string right now. I could hold, if I had a string to put on the end of here, I could hold the door open. All right, come on, little guy. Come on out, back up some more. Back out, yeah, yeah, look that way. Look, you gotta go, you can't stay. You can't stay. Oh, turn around. Yes. Go out. Go. Go, 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 go. 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 Go out. Come on. Yes. You have to leave. You're being evicted. Oh, yes. Okay. Whew. He did knock the stick down and it pinched his tail a little bit, but he's out. Okay, little guy. Run for your life. Go, baby. Okay. I'm back home and I'm going to reset this again. Like I said, we have been catching possums and raccoons like crazy and I can't take the chance of losing any more babies. So, oh, what a day. Uh -huh.